Hello everyone, welcome to the session. In this session, we are going to see how to use email output plugin in Logstash to send the email. So first, let's see the flow of the application. As an input of the application, we are having the CSV file. This CSV file is being read by the file beat. The file beat. So we will have the file beat configuration file. Then this file beat is sending the CV, CSV event to the log test and then log test will send the email so we will have the CSV file we will have the file bit configuration file and the log test configuration file now let's quickly see all these three files then we will move on to the demo this is the github repo where i have created one branch logstash email server integration and completed all these three files logstash configuration file file beat and the csv so let's see quickly so let's see this the logstash configuration file yaml so here logstash is taking the data from file beat and this is filter section this is the file i have taken from my previous demo session on the elk stack and we have used this file many times and for this particular session i have made some update and so these are the optional and this is the csv filter which will parse the csv data received from the file beat then logstash will send the data on the output and in the output we are having the standard output and the email output plugin so standard output will print the data on the logstash console and the email component or email output plugin will send the data to the email id so you need to use this email name of the output plugin and to whom you want to send the email from you can give any email id so i have used this subject subject of the email body what body would we present in the email the address so this is the address of the smtp server so for the demo i am using the google or gmail smtp so this is the domain of that smtp server smtp.gmail.com and the port of the smtp server and the user and the user id of your account gmail account and this is the and this huge tls for the security is true and the password of your account basically this is the application password so this is the main component of the logistics configuration file which will trigger the email just to mention that for every event received from the file beat the email would be triggered what i mean is if your csv file having three lines so the file beat will generate the three event to the logstash so the logstash will send the three email that we will see so this is the logstash configuration file let's see the file beat this is the file beat so file beat is taking the output file beat is taking the input from the csv this is the location of the csv file in my system you can edit this as per your system path then the output on which the log test is running now let's see the csv so this is the csv file i am using this is the header and then this is the data only single line now let's move on to the demo first you need to launch the command prompt and you need to go to this path of your log test folder bin bin of your log test then we will run the command to start the log test so if you see the readme this is the readme and here to start the file beat and to start the log test these commands we already discussed multiple times in previous sessions so this is the so here you need to give the path of your log test configuration file present in your system this this is the path of my system so let me copy this command and let's press enter and mean, meanwhile let's start the file beat this is the file beat command this and the this is the configuration file name i'm using copy this 
and then you need to launch the file beat path in your command prompt then press enter and let's wait for both the software to be up and running right now my email dashboard you can see it is blank at the moment there is no email present if logos test sends the email successfully then it should appear here you can see the server started successfully this is the logos test this is the file beat yeah file beat also started file beat start running so right now there is nothing in my csv file now let's add the csv data copy from the github this is my csv data i am you let's copy let's save now let's see if file beat is reading the data or not and the log test is sending the email so let's check the output of the log test you can see log test has printed the output here also because because in the log test configuration file in the output section we mentioned the standard output as i already shown to you let's go to the gmail you can see we have got the email these are the details from taken from our log test configuration file email section the email id from where the email has triggered from and to and the body let's add one more line in the csp file and see if it is receiving one more email let me copy this line only let's paste let me save this go to the gmail you can see we have received the email so for every event email is triggered if more than one line is present file it will send the more than one event to the logos test and logos test will send the mail more than one time so our application or the email integration is working fine so you can integrate with any email server or smtp server gmail smtp is free to use so that's why i have used also just to mention don't use these configuration of my file this don't use this email id and this because the password already expired you need to use your own account of gmail this is the basic integration session of logos test and smtp server integration that's why i have not used the dynamic value i have used all the static values in the body also in the subject also but in in my previous videos i have many time explain in many videos how to use the how to fetch the data from the event itself and use in the in the output plugin in the output section let's go to the logos test console you can see this is the the actually event complete event so if you want to use any of the values of the event then you can refer in the output section also and you can and how to refer you can go uh, in my previous videos i have mentioned i have explained if you have still you have doubt you can just let me know in the comment section this is how we can trigger the email from logos test or we can use the email output plugin in logos test if you have any doubt any query you are getting any type of error just let me know in the comment that's all for this session thanks for watching see you in the next video